Hey everybody, my name is Katie and I'm here to review The Thorn and the Blossom by Theodora Goss. I received this book from the publisher Quirk Books in exchange for an honest review, so thank you so much to you guys, I'm really really grateful for that. However, it does not affect my opinion on the book whatsoever, it's my true opinion only, and this is going to be a spoiler free review so don't worry about that. So this is a story that is kind of like a fairy tale. We have the character Evelyn, the girl, and she's from America, she travels to England and she meets this guy called Brendan in a bookstore. They end up travelling off together and developing a romance, however Evelyn suffers from horrible visions and she ends up seeing a vision whilst she kisses Brendan and she ends up running away and there's a lot of that throughout this book, her suffering from the visions and the running away, but they always meet together so it is a tale about fate and it is a good story so I found the romance wasn't really overtaking the story which is nice it's not too like cheesy or anything it was actually quite a sweet read and the ending doesn't end in like a happy ending sort of way that you would expect it's one of those sort of hopeful endings where anything could happen so I thought that was interesting as well so I'm now going to talk about the design of the book because this is really really fascinating so it is inside this little slipcase and it's very very pretty we have here a capital E saying Evelyn's story. And then if we flip it over, we have a capital B saying Brendan's story. Basically, it is a two-sided love story. So how you read it is quite simple. Let's say, for example, we're reading from Brendan's side. We open it like this, we have a picture of him on his side, and then it's pretty much like this. And you can read it exactly like a book, just by flipping over the double page. Once you reach the end of one side, like so, you will close it, flip it, and begin again on the other side. So that's quite fascinating. I will say it is written in second person, it's not necessarily first person, so from the actual perspectives. However, you do get to see things that happen whilst they're apart, which I found quite interesting. There were sort of some similar parts as well that you already would read about if you've read one side of the story when reading to another. So it was a little bit repetitive at times. That's just what I found. But overall, it's a really sort of cute story and I really, really recommend it. So overall, I gave this book four out of five stars and it's really, really sweet. I recommend for you to give this a try. It's quite a short read and it's one of those stories that will just be sweet in your heart. So I hope you have enjoyed this review of The Thorn and the Blossom by Theodora Goss. Please give me a thumbs up if you have. Let me know in the comments if you would be interested in this book or if you have read it, let me know as well. So I hope you're all having a fantastic day and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!